Hello friends, welcome to my YouTube channel. Today we will see date and time functions. We will see add years and add months function. First of all, we will see the syntax of add years. The syntax is add years, start date and n. Start date is the base date and n is the integer which could be either positive or negative. So add years function will return us the date based on the start date and it will add number of years as n. So if n is positive, it will give us next year according to the value of n and if it is negative, then it will give us previous years. Let's see this by examples. Say I will write here in a KPI today's date. It is 13th March 2022. So I will try to add add years function here. If I will not use the second parameter here, you can see we are getting an error because add years function is always taking two parameters. So now I will add here one. So 13th March 2022 now becomes 13th March 2023. If I will add 2 here instead of 1, then I will get 13th March 2024. That means exactly 2 years after today's date. Same way, if I will use negative 1 here, it will give me 13th March 2021. That means 1 year back. And if I will use minus 2 here, it will give me 2020. This function will automatically adjust the month end. So say if I will write here 29th of February 2020, which is exactly the month end of 2020 February. And if I will write here add years and I will say 1 here, then I should get 29th of February 2021. But I will not get 29th of February 2021 because February 2021, it has got only 28 days. So it will automatically adjust the month end. This function can be implemented on any date of your dashboard. So I will remove all of them and then we will try to implement this one on my order date which is from my current dashboard. So I will say order date and now I will make font little bit bigger so it will clearly visible. Okay and I will say add years order date and I will say minus 2. So now it will convert all order date to 2 years back. So 3rd of January 2020 becomes 3rd of January 2018. Let's see what happened to 29th of February 2020. So you can see from here 29th of Feb is now converted to 28th of Feb 2018 because 2018 Feb has got only 28 days. So the result of 28 Feb and 29 Feb 2020 is the same which is 28th of Feb 2018. Same way instead of minus 2 I can say minus 1 even I can say plus 1 and plus 2 that means positive integer. So you can see now 3rd of January become 3rd of January 2021 and similarly become 3rd of January 2022 when the second parameter is 2. Hope this is clear how add years function working. Now we will try to implement similar function add months. First of all we will see the syntax of that function from click help file. The syntax is add months, start date, n and mode. 
so similar to add years we have first two parameters where start date is the base date n is the integer either it will be positive or negative but we have another parameter here which is mode we will try to understand what the third parameter mode is doing by few examples let's try to implement add months here I will add my order date here and I will say add months my order date and I will say 1 here. So I have passed two parameters here. So now you can see my order date is now exactly incremented by one month. If I will say instead of 1 if I will say 2 then my my order date incremented by two months we haven't passed the third parameter here that means it is by default zero so even if i will not pass or pass zero it will give me the same result but now i will duplicate this and i will pass my third parameter as one so we'll see what exactly the difference is coming here let me consider my current year which is and month is January 2022 and I will sort by order date. Uh, let me I will increase the size of this font little bit so it will be clearly visible okay so you can see here and i will remove i will move this one at the third place so now we will compare these two you can see when the date is 26 we are getting the same result for 27th we are getting the same result but the result is different when the date is 28 or more than 28. What is the difference when you use the third parameter? I will show you this one first by an Excel file. So say you have date something like this 31st of January 2022, 30th of January 2022 and up to 26. This is your order date, add months, order date and say 1 and 0. And the same is here but here it is 1. Because 31st January is the month end and we are adding exactly one month, we will also get month end of the next month. So that is 28th of February 2022. Similarly, you will get the same result because even though 30th of January 2022 is not the month end, but February has got only 28th date. So the similar result you will get it for this, for this as well. And here you will get 27th of February 2022 and here 26th of February 2022. So the month end you will get for the first four because the maximum number of date for February 2022 is 28. But here in this case, what first it will happen is because this is a month end you will get month end here but here this is not a month end it has till one day left for the month end so when you use the third parameter as one what it will do it will first convert this one to 30th of feb 2022 but because feb 2022 don't have more than 28 days so it will give you the maximum days that is 28 of 2022 but now the third parameter will take care of another things we have one day left for the month end so here also it will give you your month end minus one day that is 27th for 29th you have two days left for the month end so here 
it will first convert to 29th of Feb 2022 but because February 2022 don't have 29 days it has only 28 days so now it will convert to the maximum date and now it's a two days left so it will give you month and minus two days that is 26. Similarly here it will be three days so you will get 25th of Feb 2022. The third parameter is only working for any date which is greater than or equal to 28th of that particular month. So for this 27th and 26th you will get the same result. This function is not only working at the front end, it will also work at the back end. So here add years temp order date and I will say 1 as order date 1 year after or I can say minus 1 one year before so when I reload this and we'll go to the front end and what I can do here is I can add after and one year before so you can see now we are getting the result here similar way add month function can also be used at the backend I will say months add months and 1 and 0 or say 1 and here I will say 1 and 1 so here I can say order date 1 month after and here say 1 month after 2 and I will load it and then at the front end order year one month after and order year one month after two so now you can see we are getting the similar result for 28 29 30 and 31st we are getting 25 26 27 and 28 where we have used the third parameter otherwise it will give you month end of February 2022 because February 2022 has got only 28 days so hope you now understand how add years and add month function works add years function has got only two parameters but add month function has got three parameters if you like my video please do subscribe and comment thanks and have a good day